flipping in your videos, it's your boy Lion Salt, and we're here with episode 8 of our TNA 2003 playthrough, and it is officially TNA. If you can see the banner, we switched over. We crossed that line, brother. But anyways, this is TNA Genesis, episode 9. I'm going to jump right into it with the 54C minus, just the video saying this, like a hype package, this is Genesis. King of the Mountain. Blah, 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 blah. And now our first match on 47D. Christopher Daniels defeats Jerry Lynn in 13-24 by pinfall within Angel's Wings. And he wins the X Division Championship. So good match. Got the crowd buzzing. We got the crowd hotter. Not buzzing yet. But Daniels had a 38. Jerry Lynn had a 47. And then in a 68C+. Plus, a lollipop interviews AJ Styles about the King of the Mountain match later tonight. And then in a 42D and about that subpar wrestling little league, AMW defeats the Briscoe brothers in 1348 when Chris Harris defeats Mark Briscoe by pinfall at the death sentence and they make defense number a three of the World Tag Team Championships. James Stone had a 45, Chris Harris had a 39, Mark Briscoe had a 29, and Jay Briscoe had a 27, which I... I I am actually surprised on that because do, but let's just keep going. And a 17F, uh, AMW and the Briscoe brothers shake hands. I don't know why that the Briscoes aren't on screen, but they're not on screen. And then in a 44D, Brian Lawler cuts a promo hyping up a match with Jerry Lawler. And then a 22E, Monty Brown destroys Air Paris in 645 with the. Sorry, that was cringe, but I had to do it. That's my one for this series. Both of them at a 30. So, like a flow, though. So, then in a 46 E and a belt that had decent, good heat and decent wrestling, Brian Lawler defeats Jerry Lawler in eight and a half minutes with a hip hop drop. And then in a 48 D, Brian Lawler just fucking destroys his father, like beats him down, bloodies him. Lays into him, stomps a mud hole, and walks it dry. Then a video airs in a 45D hyping up Abyss versus Vampiro, which I believe is next. Which in a 59C in a decent match, Abyss defeats Vampiro in a monster's ball in 14 minutes by pinfall. Abyss had a 53, a Vampiro had a 55. It's great now, a lot better than I thought it was going to do. A lot, and I mean a lot. And then a 53C, Vampiro Abyss puts Vampiro through a burning table. Just fucks him up. Like, fuck me up, fam. Just done. Over. And then a 39, 80D minus, poor Matt's the crew. Uh, defeats CM Punk and Julio De Niro in 11 minutes when Ron Killings defeats Julio De Niro with the consequences. And this match just cools everyone down again after that fucking barn burner of a match. And then in a 68C plus Paul Heyman announces that this upcoming Thursday for the final time NWA will have a weekly pay-per-view NWA TNA 35 one last time because the following week will be on TV I don't know which, where I'm gonna put it yet but I have I can get a TV deal it will be the debut of Impact so we're starting that about a year and a half early, but I like TV better than just t booking because you get more money. It's money. Money, money, money. Money. And then at backstage, a stretcher containing unconscious Jerry Lawler is loading an ambulance. And I believe that our main event's next. Nope. Kid Cash versus Brian Danielson in a 43D. Brian Danielson defeats Kid Cash in 943 by pinfall with a cattle mutilation. I keep wanting to say manipulation. It manipulates the joints. But, yeah, you get it. but Brian Daniels had a 39. Kid Cash 43. Now I believe it's the main event. And a 52D and about to head dec and decent wrestling and a decent match. AJ Styles defeats Jeff Jarrett, Cody Hawk, Steve Perino, Buff Battle, and Raven. A ladder match in 2405 when AJ Styles retrieves the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. 
So AJ Styles had a 69. Jeff Jarrett had a 54. Cody Hawk had a 27. Let's see, Fernando had a 47. Alright. What else? Everyone. Fuck me over. Buff Bagwell had a 43. Raven had a 44. And any improvements? Jeff Jarrett, AJ Styles, and Buff Bagwell. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett first, at first, tried to block this. He didn't want AJ Styles winning. But I got him to take it. Apparently, Jeff Jarrett has fucking creative control, which, fuck that, dude. I'm, I'm going to go and edit it, because fuck that. And then everyone else was pissed off. But I don't give a fuck, because it just go clean, but, ugh. Then in the 70C+, plus, AJ Styles celebrates the end. To end, Genesis. And 54C, increased our popularity in 43 reasons, but I used the Briscoe Brothers way too much, but what we're going to do is give AJ Styles told that he's awesome. Uh, Raven. I'm going to give a uh, great performance. And Abyss. Great performance. Make speech. Make speech and make speech. And let's go to uh, pass through this through some Bobby Knight and Bakey Lynch. Like, Jesus. Don't get me started. But, anyways. What did they say? Kevin Kelly? No. HWA Crisis? Might buy him. Uh, where is it? Am I blind? I'm blind. I'm really blind. Right here. Went down really well. But anyways, guys. Like. Comment. Subscribe. This, show is about to, this episode is about to be about seven minutes long. So, yeah. Good enough for me. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one, which will be episode 10.